Okay, uh, after yesterday's success with the uh, popularity of the video, we're doing another one. Uh, I'm going to do a sweet one, carrot cake. Uh, so easy that even a four year old can do it. So, Alf is going to help. Um, so we're going to make a carrot cake. We're going to do carrot cake cupcakes. So I'm going to bake them in little muffin tins. Uh, you guys, if you don't have muffin tins and paper cases, you could always bake it in a sandwich tin. You could stack it up. You could layer it as one large bread pan. You can just spread the icing on top. So you can do what you want. Alfie, what do we need to make a carrot cake? Flour, sugar, carrots, egg, oil, spice, and... Orange. So the key to a successful carrot cake is the order of which you put the ingredients together. Um, we've got brown sugar, we've got freshly grated carrot, freshly grated uh, zested orange, wholemeal self-raising flour as well as self-raising flour, uh, vegetable oil, if you don't have vegetable oil, use sunflower oil, groundnut oil, preferably not olive oil, it's not good for it. Uh, whole egg, mixed spice, bicarbonate of soda, and like I say, a nicely fresh zested orange. So it's the method of which we put all these things together that will give you a successful carrot cake cupcake. So the first thing you have to do is you have to preheat your oven, 180 degrees Celsius preferably on a, a fan setting. Um, and then the first part of the method will be, we need a big jug. And we're going to mix the oil and the eggs together. So eggs classified as a fat. So we're going to mix up two fats together. With the oil, so you can whisk Alfie. Mm -hmm. You whisk that together. So while Alfie's whisking, I have the carrots. Now, you obviously can't see what's in the bowl. Huh? Angles and all that. Carrots. Flowers. Not sifted, you've got wholemeal flour in there. So obviously we have the grains, we have the, the, the flour that's mixed. We add the brown sugar. And then, bicarbonate of soda and mixed spice. We throw that in. We mix it by hand. And what you really want to do is you want to coat the um, you want to coat the the carrots and these ingredients so that when you add the egg mixture, basically it's going to cling to all the carrot a lot easier. So when you bake it, they're all going to be mixed in nice. How's the eggs in there, Alfie? Looking good? Yeah. Yeah? You could do this in the machine if you really wanted to. I just do it by hand. So I've just been a run. I'm a bit red-faced. I guess as well, we need to have uh, healthy bodies in our time of need. Right, Alfie, pour it in. All of it at once, buddy. Right? Big spoon. Give it a stir. Right, let people see what you're doing. Stir, 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 stir. Is it hard work? Yeah. So, Alfie's only four, but he can pretty much make this cake. It's just this is a bit of hard work, isn't it? Right, where's the orange? Here he is. Right, you put it in. Right, stir it in. And how easy is it? It's always a mixed job. If I, if I really wanted to make a worldy, really, really sexy carrot cake, okay, I might whisk my eggs with my sugar for a little bit longer. I might pour it in the oil just to emulsify it. Well, you could, you could stir it in with that, you're right, right? So, as Alfie said, you could stir it in with one of these, right? And that's our mixture. The texture is quite sloppy. It should kind of drop off. Nice and loose. So yeah, I'm going to let Alfie put the mixture in. These do rise quite a lot. I mean, you've got self-raising flour, self-raising wholemeal flour, uh, bicarbonate soda, which is a raisin agent, uh, and you've got all those eggs, so they do puff up. With a cupcake like this, like a little muffin tin, I'm actually going to probably fill them half, hoping that they'll 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 rise enough for a nice fluffy soft cupcake. 
this might take some time with Alfie, so what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward uh, until they're all ready. So Alfie's filled the tray. This recipe that we've done is perfect for 12 cupcakes. So yeah, he's filled them. Uh, pretty tidily to be fair, not a lot of mess. So these are going to go in the oven at 180 degrees as I say. Another little chefy trick, what I like to do before I put any sponge cake or any mixture in the oven. Give them a tap. You make sure you're filling all your case nice, it's leveling, uh, leveling out the sponge mixture, you're probably going to get a nicer rise. It's just tiny little chefy tricks. Um, if this was an aerated cake, I wouldn't be doing that. I don't want to knock all the air out of it, but uh, something like this, that little tip can just make it um, even better. So they're going to go in the oven and I'll tell you all about the cream cheese icing uh, next. So as I thought, Alfie got bored, um, so he's away. Uh, carrot cakes are in the oven. They'll take, I reckon, like 20, 24 minutes to cook. Again, everyone's oven's different. So you have to just, again, use common sense. We'll touch them later, I'll show you what we're looking for. And there's also the skewer test, whereby we'll stick a skewer in or the end of a knife. Comes out clean, it's cooked. Okay, so that's that's another wee chef tip. So with a classic carrot cake, we're going to do cream cheese icing. One of my favorite things, I can just eat it like a spoon it. Icing sugar, butter, cream cheese, nothing else. No vanilla, no lemon, no orange. For me, it doesn't need it. We're just going to do those three things. So I'm going to make that in the machine. I'm going to show you how. Off butter. Um, we're about to mix fat with fat, butter mixing with cream cheese. Very important that we use soft butter and also very important that we use full fat cream cheese. If you don't use full fat cream cheese, it won't be thick and creamy and really nice to use. So we're going to start to mix this with ice and sugar. You'll see the recipe. It's equal quantities of sugar and butter and then it's twice that weight in cream cheese. So we're going to make this go fast. This is called creaming. We're going to cream it together. creaming together for about two minutes if you're doing this by hand again it's just a bit of hard work and elbow grease um, but now what we need to do is slowly add the cream cheese a little bit of time so in here I'm going to put that in in one third one third one third mix it each time a third mix 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 I'm going to add another third there's now two thirds in here one third in there mix 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 I'll add my last third. Goes in, mix, mix, mix. And we've got this nice thick cream cheese kind of buttery icing that I can assure you that is, oh. So this cream cheese icing, for me, Nigella moment. It's just good like that. To test the cake, you do the skewer test. Skewer, cake, put it in. If it comes out clean, it's cooked. Try another one. Clean, that's cooked. 21 minutes. I made some little carrots that were found in that I found in the cupboard um, to top the carrot cake. But they're cooling, they're nearly cold, we're gonna pipe them and then we're gonna eat them. So the cupcakes are cold, I've got my icing, i made my little carrots, they're quite cool. Um, <clears throat> next stage is we're going to pipe the icing on. However, I watch some people trying to fill a piping bag, and I'm talking professionals at work or otherwise, and they don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you a little trick to make filling the piping bag a lot less messy in your house. Jug, bag, open the bag. Oh, I've got a star shaped nozzle in here. Hold it down, so you've got half the bag. Take the bag, and just place it in the jug. Fold over the sides. Nice and delicious. Scrape. And place. Scrape. And place. The piping bag's going to be full, there's no mess and everyone's a lot happier. Because the thing with bacon is you normally find there's a lot more mess and it's sticky mess or it's, ugh, don't like me sticky. So now, fold the bag up, the icing's in the bag, 
and there's no mess. Mess paint. Okay, so as I say, I have my cupcake, it's cold. I have my icing. Um, if you were making this in a tray, you can still pipe it on, still make it look really pretty and really cool. Or if you wanted, you can get a spoon and you can dollop it on and you can spread it. You have a little palette knife, you could spread it on, finish it, coat it in nuts, toast some pumpkin seeds, throw them on, grate some fresh orange on, do whatever the hell you wanted. This is just how I'm doing them. So you can do it how you wanted. So again, if you want to pipe it all fancy, you can. Me, I'm going to just show you the easiest and nicest way. I've got my bag, I'm holding it from the top. The pressure comes from the top. That's why I can squeeze it. I may as well eat that bit. It's my own family if I've got Corona. Pipe. Straight up. No swirling, no gurling. And as I say, I made these little carrots. So there you have it. It's my carrot cake, cupcake. Which I think is only right. If I do another Nigella moment, and I try one. Yeah, it's pretty good. So that was our carrot cakes, I mean cupcakes. Hopefully you'll make one of them. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the comments bit again, and uh, enjoy.